Now, before we went for the short break, you guys had a powerful testimony. That yes. one sounds like it's really powerful <laughs> about the, how God came through for you, yes. uh, through your education. Yes. yes, please share with us. So, uh, it was in the year 2012. 2012. 2012. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had stayed for a, a, a quite a period of time without going to school because as I, have, I had mentioned before mm. when we are in this journey there are some shake-ups that come yes. so that you can be cleaned and mm. be presentable oh, yeah. to be used by God mm -hmm. and so as we are out of school we will our, our parents would really encourage us mm. just to persevere and to know that wow. this is just for a short while mm. and very soon there we will, is no loss. yes there is no loss I remember those were the words of mom <laughs> there is no, no loss, loss in serving God Amen. and so we will be there when we are left alone we just sing pray mm. thank God because we knew that he had good plans Amen. and so one day uh, there was an old phone that our parents used to leave us with I for communication tell. it was a really <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say Kabambe phone. Eh? Okay. So we could, uh, it didn't even have the dial pads. <laughs> so we would use a stick uh, or a toothpick or something to press the buttons. Oh. So there was this competition mm. by the then Orange uh, Company, oh. which is now oh. Telcom. Okay. They, were, they were doing a competition Afcon. called AFCON okay. on... Um, it was football or something. Mm -hmm. So you were to answer some oh, questions. Yes, yes, I remember. Yes. Con, yeah. you, you were to answer some questions yes. and then you win a trip to Gabon. So me, I saw the text and I was like, guys, there's this trip to Gabon. <laughs> I even thought Gabon was in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> so we said we'll go to Gabon. And uh, so we would answer. We didn't have air time hmm. because our parents were the one to call us. We, we couldn't even afford to call other people. Mm. So I don't know how, it was God, Amen. how we would answer the questions. Yeah. We would guess, we would say, is it letter A or B or C? And oh. we would say, let's do C. And then sometimes we'll it would refuse. Sometimes it will, yeah, it will refuse to send because we didn't have air time. Mm -hmm. So we would say, like the way, just the way we had been taught persist, by our parents. Persist. Yeah, persist, persist until persist, you got a breakthrough. So we would persist <laughs> until the message goes. Oh, so finally, no air time. No air time at That's all. That's amazing. So by, and I think one question was charging 25, 25 shillings. Mm -hmm. We didn't know by then. Okay. So one day I received a call. It was in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I received a call from a certain lady. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I wasn't, it wasn't even in my mind because we were told by our parents not to answer other strangers' phones. Okay. So me, I don't know how I answered the phone. Mm -hmm. And I began talking to the lady. She told me, I've won a trip to Gabon. I'm like, what? Uh, how old are you? I'm mm -hmm. 13. I was 13 by that time. Mm -hmm. So I went and shared with my siblings. And then it occurred to me later, oh. Hef, you've answered a stranger's <laughs> phone. Oh. A book called Daddy right now and tell him what has just uh, happened. So I, I talked with my parents. Mm. My dad was, first of all, you know, he didn't want those stories because he <laughs> thought they were con people. Oh. But then my mom's energy persists. She persists. <laughs> wow. So, um... After all, mm -hmm. my, because I was underage, unfortunately, I could not go. Yes. So when uh, the SIM card was re registered on, under my dad's That's, name, mm -hmm. so he's the one who went. Oh. Went for three days. To Gabon. In a, a five-star hotel. Oh, and we didn't, even pay any, we didn't even have air time to answer the question. Mm -hmm. So when he, when he came back, mm -hmm. he came back with some magazines, some stuff from Gabon, you know. Mm -hmm. And the exactly. magazines were written in English and French. French. Mm -hmm. So we were really excited because it's a new language. Mm -hmm. And the way that he told us that you know the French language this is how they say it and this mm. so we're interested in that language mm -hmm. so during our free time we will go and uh, and just go through this is a sentence in English this is what it is in French right. sometimes it's not it sometimes it's not correct yeah. but because it has a full stop over here uh, wow. so we'll get, we will think it's the same thing mm -hmm. so uh, a time reached mm -hmm. finally for us to go back to school and as we wanted to learn French, we had heard that there's a French school uh, oh. that they teach in French. Okay. And so we had we wanted to go, but we were not in that um, position. position to join the French school. Mm -hmm. But because our trust is not in our parents, mm. thank God for our parents who taught us who taught us to put our trust, trust in, in God. God. So mm. we prayed to Him. We went to him. Remember, I was supposed to join the last primary class mm -hmm. because I had uh, stayed for a period of time without joining, so I was to restart again. Mm -hmm. And that was not me. I mean, no. <laughs> I went directly to God. I prayed yeah. to him, God, please yeah. answer my prayer. Mm -hmm. yeah, that wanted us to go to. He didn't want. He, he was just pushing us well. So he was. Well, he wanted to take us to 
uh -huh. the, the Kenyan system. And okay. us, our eyes were in the French, French system. system. You had shifted. Yes, and oh. you know, because we cannot <laughs> argue with our yes. parents, yeah. because they, they wish do. us well, yeah. we just go to the one who can Wonderful. sort everything. Yes. Yes. So we, I remember I prayed for three days mm. fasting <laughs> and praying to oh. God. Well, I help don't, me. And yes. that is going to look for school. So when he was and going yeah, to look for a school, <laughs> <laughs> so when he was looking for the school, he couldn't find it. Oh. So finally, mm. uh, by God's grace, and it was another miracle, we joined the French school. Wow. And remember we had said for a long time we were going to school. To school. Mm. So when we, when we joined, remember mm. everything is taught in French. Math, French. French. French, French. 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 English, French. French. Science, French. French. Oh my God. So we had to like learn the French language. Mm -hmm. And we, God helped us to, we took it up very quickly. Amen. And by the time we were doing the end term, uh, like the, the last yes. term mm -hmm. exams, you can't believe it. Mm -hmm. we what happened? Number one. Number one. Oh, number one. Really? All of us. Oh, even, even. We hadn't different. joined the school. Okay. Uh, we Ruth and Ephraim was mm. still young, so it was Esther. Mm -hmm. Esther was the one who was joining. So me, Christina, uh -huh. and Jed, wow. like we were among the top. I remember I was number one, and the teachers were like, "What has just happened? <laughs> what These happened? are French-speaking people. Yes. They grew up with French, oh. and you were number one." Wow! It was the Lord's Is it here in Kenya? Yes, it's in Kenya. Kenya. Oh, wonderful! Yes. Wow! So we thank the Lord Amen. because. Even that sign, you mm -hmm. know, it may it oh may not God. mean a lot to other people, but yes. to us, it actually oh, no. catapulted, no. catapulted no. our faith, faith to just, the next level. Yes, to know that God yes. provides, yes. and I like the fact that you people, your faith is anchored in God. And this is something that parents, if you're watching us, please listen and learn from that. What what most parents do, they they put they they help their children trust in them. They teach them to trust in them. When the parent is not there, their faith is gone. But when you trust in God, yeah, yeah you, even when your parents are not there, yeah. you trust in God and mm. you continue. Yeah. And you and you mentioned you never thought you guys could sing. Yeah. Then when did you start discovering that you could sing? And I know you're going to do for us a song in French, yeah? Yes. Wow. Do you speak <laughs> French now fluently? Yes, we yeah. speak oh, French. Oh, wonderful, yeah. wonderful. All of you, even Ephraim. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so how, when did you know that you guys could sing and when did the music career or sing gifts started manifesting? My friend Ruth, my namesake. <laughs> As a group, we started four years ago, mm -hmm. but personally, me, I started 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. 11 no. years ago. Uh, like 10, 10 years ago. ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. We have been singing for a long time. Like mm. I began singing when I was how old? A mm. young girl. Mm -hmm. And then now they all began singing when they were young. Mm -hmm. So the ministry itself was mm. birthed four years ago. Oh wow. And so how do you do you guys compose songs? How many songs have you composed so <laughs> far? Uh, uh, how do those songs come? How do you do that? I, let me tell uh, to be honest, if I'm told to compose a song, I don't know. Oh my yeah. God, I don't know where I'll start from. I, I can sing other people's songs, but composing, mm. to me, that is something so huge. So how many songs have you guys composed? We love to compose our songs, all of us, because everyone has been endowed with a word different. Yes. So when you put in everything... There's a lot you know, of creativity. Yes. But sometimes you can do it like... A solo, like mm -hmm. Jack is a very good co composer of, of songs, mm -hmm. of worship songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so your songs are mainly worship or praise. What we mixed, mixed. mixed. Yes. but oh, worship. actually, we have worship, praise, mm -hmm. and another category. Mm. I think we have to look for the name. Uh -huh. Which one is it's this? full of rap, oh. worship, and all that. <laughs> <laughs> it's still Everything our, combined. Yeah, yeah. Now, you people, you seem to be so much like in sync. Like this one can read the mind of that one <laughs> and knows what one, that one wants to say. I've, I've noticed that about you. Mm -hmm. Do you have moments whereby you have sibling, <laughs> they, like you don't understand one intense another? Moment. How do we call intense them? Moment. <laughs> intense moments of, mm -hmm. of fellowship, <laughs> fellowship and worship. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do you deal with that? Uh, we are siblings. Mm -hmm. We are like all other brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. and for that matter, we're living in the same house. Mm -hmm. There's a certain proverb. I don't know. I can't say it in, in my mother tongue, but mm -hmm. it's my mom who taught me. Okay. That two jembes uh -huh. in the same uh, basket, <laughs> yes, they yes. have to. Big. So, uh, uh, you know, being rooted in the word of God mm -hmm. has really helped us to know that uh, when we differ, because mm -hmm. we, are, we are diverse, like yes. this is a house of 
artists mm -hmm. creators. So <laughs> people we, are so creative yeah, so here. So when we differ, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Kidogo, we just have to reconcile. Mm -hmm. And as the Bible says, don't let the sun go down before we reconcile with mm -hmm. your brother. Mm -hmm. So we really, we really try to work on that. Wow. Yeah. What's your advice to children and parents that are outside there? Maybe you can start with children. Ephraim, just one, one word and t t tell us. What, what, what is your advice to the children that are outside there and they don't work and they don't support their parents, they don't listen to their parents? What would you tell them? Um, first of all, mm. children are arrows. Wow, so did you hear that? Then, uh -huh. The enemy will use... Will use will try all his best mm -hmm. to use you. Mm -hmm. So it's the high time you start standing and you obey your parents and stop being rebellious. Mm. Most of mm -hmm. rebellious. Mm -hmm. rebellious. Mm -hmm. Everyone in this world fall in the trap. Mm -hmm. That's right. Satan has a trap mm -hmm. to trap him. So if a child is mm -hmm. not ready and is not and he doesn't have a nice mm -hmm. relationship with God, we fall in the trap. Mm -hmm. In the trap, and once you fall in the trap, that's over with you, and that's over with your life. Wow. And one more thing before I finish: a lion, when it wants to hurt, it looks at the one that is out of the group, mm -hmm. and when it spots you, did you hear that? Mm -hmm. You are captured, and once you're captured, mm -hmm. you know basically what happens. Wow. So it's the high time we get right now back to the group. And one more thing the power of being together. Mm -hmm. First, have a nice relationship with your brother, have an, a nice relationship with others. That's why, even if the enemy mm -hmm. tries to come in hard times, wow. you will stay connected and you will stay together. And one more last thing I want to finish. Yes, with. yes, if right. <laughs> Listen, mm -hmm. in this world, we have a toothless lion. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, it's the hard time. Mm. Oh, but when you turn to Jesus, mm -hmm. the lion of the tribe of Judah, wow. the toothless lion will run. Amen. 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 Run and Amen. she <laughs> run in seven ways mm -hmm. and you will see dust all over. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. So the secret is for children to remain in the team. Mm -hmm. Where with parents, where you have a, your, your father and your mother, if you, you're just with your mother, if your mother is a single parent, remain in the team. Mm -hmm. Don't isolate yourself. And then, Jade, what would you advise the parents that are outside there and they're listening to us concerning their children? Be there for your children. Mm -hmm. Be supportive. Yes. Understand them. Mm -hmm. And be there to encourage them yes. in the time when they need you. Mm -hmm. And it will all be well. Wonderful, you wonderful. Yeah. What do you have to say, all of you? Something that I want you to say, something that you say together uh, as we work. We have something mm -hmm. uh, we would like to encourage other people, mm -hmm. like other children, other families, <coughs> uh, pastors' <laughs> children. Yes. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah we are no. ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joshua 1 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you. Wherever you go. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. What more can we say to these things? Hey, <laughs> God is good. I believe you have been blessed. Mm -hmm. Isn't this the kind of family you want to have? Isn't this the kind of children you want to raise up? Mm -hmm. But it takes effort. It calls for you to give your time. This didn't just happen. Their pa parents, as they said last week, they were very intentional about bringing each of these children up in the ways of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I want to finish by telling you, you're a powerful woman. 
You are a strong woman. You can raise up a great army for the Lord Amen. because you are an able minister. Amen. Keep pushing forward until we meet again next time. Let us all look at that camera and say bye. Bye. bye.